Yeah, 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 yeah. What's happening? Thoughts and players. Arthur Dominguez. Zero four. Kyle McKinney. And this is my dad, Brent McKinney. Yo. <laughs> Got another dad on the pod. Yo, we've been having uh, some dads on the pod the last couple months, so uh, we're yeah. hyped. It's the second dad. Yeah. yeah. We're, 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 we're moving. You do it every now and then to make it like a, just, you know. Uh, tradition. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool to have here. a dad on the pod because I feel like our dads have been through a lot over the years. A lot wiser. More than us. They provide a different perspective. Would you say? A lot of times. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be pretty cool to just kind of talk to Kyle's dad and see what's going on today. And not only that, but it's our first live audience. <laughs> we got a live audience on the back. Yo, yo! It's kind of cool. So, hey, all nervous? More pressure for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Now sure. I'm thinking, like, are we really funny or not? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't get laughs, then we get drunk. <laughs> we'll get all on our heads. I was one of that. You ever, like, watch those shows growing up and you see, like, you know, they had, like, the live audience? Yeah. I always wonder, those are actual people, like, clapping and shit? Isn't it just, like, an audio Or is that, like, just, like, a... It's, like, an audio track, I thought. It's, like, not even real sometimes. So it's not... But, no, but I remember, because I'm, like, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, for instance, is just an example. Yeah. They had one episode where, I think it was one, towards, like, the end of the season... And Will Smith actually went out and you saw there was like a live audience. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know you know, you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. And so there was actually people there. And I'm thinking like, holy shit. Like there's, they're doing all of that like a live, live tape. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I would be freaking out because I feel like I would need more than just one like. That's what I'm saying. Like you know? I, I, I always thought it might be fake because every time they like cheered or like laughed, it sounded exactly the same. <laughs> the applause sign. Just well, applause. that's it. The applause sign. We need an applause sign up here. Yeah. You're right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. So clap uh, if we're funny or laugh <laughs> or fake laugh. We're, oh, we're not, <laughs> we're not even 100%, 100%, 100% that, 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 like, the mics can get them. So. <laughs> I'm dead. How's everyone doing today? Good, good. Doing good. Not bad? Recovering. Good little Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all went hard last night, no? Yeah. Un- unnecessarily. Mr. McKinney, <laughs> how, how did you? How you feeling? I'm good now. It was a little rough this morning, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a good question because I'm turning 26 this month, and uh, I feel like my hangovers have gotten really bad. I've talked about this before on the podcast, <laughs> and it's to the point where I don't even like drinking anymore. I really don't, and so. Did your hangovers get worse over the years? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then you learn how to manage them, right? So if, yeah. if you feel like shit, you feel like shit, right? You get yeah. up and go to work or do whatever. I, I don't drink on school nights very often. Yeah. And, of course, last night wasn't school night, but I'm told we had a good time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty drunk, and uh, I went to Mr. McKinney. I said, uh, we were talking. We were talking about the podcast. And I'm like, when do you leave? He said, well, I leave Monday. I said, okay, we'll do it tomorrow. And I woke up today, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot. I told him we're going to do the podcast. Tomorrow. Yeah, it was, like, it was like 2 p.m. And I was like, are we still doing this? <laughs> I was yeah. already drunk. Because I could tell Jared was drunk when he was texting me about it. So I was like, this may or may not oh. happen. Well, Kyle sure. said, you want to do the, the podcast at 7? And I go, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? He's like, it was set in stone last night. So. Yeah. I, t- I, told, I told you, I was like, we're going to make it happen tomorrow. I, was like, I texted Arthur as soon as I sat down. So let's do it. I'm like, we're here. We but made it. My dad's right. very good at uh, gauging, you know, his limits. You know, uh, <laughs> we we were just recently talking about it. He would just be, everybody will be having fun and everything. He'll at least tell one person and just be, hey, I got to leave now. I got to go. <laughs> oh, if so he stays you- any longer, he knows that it's going to be rough and he probably will waste the entire day the following day. So he's now got this rhythm going where he's like, I got to go. And guess he'll just dip. y'all were also at. I mean, y'all were at Perry's for what seven hours or so, five, five, six, five, five, at five least. the whole UTSA yeah. game. If yeah. you're there, if you're at a bar, like a, a place to eat, drink, I'm sure y'all were drinking the whole we time. We sat at the bar too, so sat at, oh, that's easy. easy access, easy access. Yep, so. watching a football game before you know, you like I killed like six, seven beers. Oh, oh yeah. way more than that. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a crazy game too. Yes, the the triple overtime definitely encouraged more drinking. I caught the third overtime. That's all I saw. <laughs> Arthur turns the game on, so I missed I missed all the exciting shit basically. Yeah, was, see, and, and I committed to never watch another UTSA game once Kyle quit playing. Yeah, uh-huh. because it took years off my life, all the stress, and we went to every single game, right? Yeah. And then here I am, I'm sucked back in. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you never missed a game. I missed or, one game. One game out of yeah. his whole. What game was that? Career. Do you remember exactly? 
Um, it was Louisiana Tech. Yeah. It was. Oh, was that an away game? That yeah. Was an away game. Yeah. In Ruston. Damn. Hey, you're you're a good parent. <laughs> <laughs> you're a cool dad. Yeah. Hell yeah! Went to almost hey. every game. That's I mean, and that takes a lot of dedication because y'all travel pretty. I mean, not just in Texas. I mean, outside of Texas, all the way well. to Virginia is the furthest. I think we've, yeah, we flew Old Dominion the, or Miami. The rundown on like the whole you get there. It's a whole weekend, right? You leave like on a, I'm guessing like a Thursday, uh, Friday no, type. You leave on a, we, depending on where we are. You just you so if it's a close like it's a short flight, mm. we have practice in the morning and then we leave. We have like about an hour, two hours to get something to eat. We're gonna eat more on the on the plane, but um. I mean, if we got to go all the way to like Virginia, we do like literally morning practice early and then get dressed and then we do security check and bag check all at the campus and they drive us to the airport and then we walk on a tarmac and up the stairs and we don't go anywhere inside Was the there airport. like any, like, has there, has there been like a time a player didn't pass the security check or no? Oh, no. No. Nah, it's at like, random. Like, I think my whole college career, I got my bag checked like yeah. twice you didn't have anything bad they just went you're good just keep walking like and then random people they're all like highlighted and stuff yeah but damn that's great but i feel like it's a whole like then you get over there and then like you got y'all gotta like get y'all's rooms and all that and then yeah you get there practice yeah from you land and go straight to the hotel and you have about like depending on if there's traffic or anything we have like 30 45 minutes you have dinner then you have team meetings and then study hall at the hotel and then you have or movie night. Do we watch movies like and then after that you have another meeting and then snack. I mean we're eating all the they time. They fed y'all's asses. <laughs> like, if you were, yeah, y'all were eating over there. It's, for sure. it's, it's crazy though. You could tell at the end of the season who played and who didn't by strictly how much who gained weight. Like people who like Ooh. rode the bench, but they tra- traveled Skinny everywhere. As hell. Like, dude, you gained twenty pounds Twigs. over four months. Like, what the heck? And he's like eating like a king every weekend. Like, they had like steaks every every night. It was steaks also, at the like hotel steaks. But I also was wondering, like, for instance, like last time, okay, Houston won, right? Do they y'all leave the, that night? Y'all go back home? Mm-hmm. So they went back home that night. Yeah. Oh, bro, they they partied for sure. They had to. Yeah. They had to. At it's, least. Yeah, and it's. I would. More rewarding winning at home than it's just yeah. So I'm sure like they, they took all that energy back home. And yeah, turned up. It is what it is. But yeah. hey, there's a whole long season going. So shout out to UTSA football. Yeah, let's be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear about the weekend losing his voice? Uh, I talked about it briefly this this morning. You know uh, the worst part is like I talked about it on our last episode. To where I was like, how did the performers not lose their voice? Like, you jinxed them. And I literally think I manifested it. Yeah, you jinxed he them. Lost so what voice. happened to his voice? Like, he was like three songs deep and he, his voice went out. Like Me in concert? Yeah. Oh. And so you can see the videos. He tries to continue. Yeah. And he can't, like he just can't hit the, no the high way. notes or anything. So well, I've seen some like over the years of like performer, you know, the artist that within time, I mean, bro, especially if you're on tour and he's he's playing stadium so like it's not just like he's going to a place where he's playing 18 20 thousand people like he's going over i'm sure there's over, at least fifty thousand people there at at those uh events i feel like it's just it takes a lot out of you like i mean how do you not like get like your voice isn't like well that's why i was confused because you know? like, i've never been to a concert where i didn't lose my voice because i'm singing along and they do it every night every well, night well dad dad my dad you know really into music and he's he plays guitar and you know he knows behind the scenes a lot of musicians and stuff. So do you have any input? It's um, non bi- biased. Non biased. No, he uh, tell you a quick story. Our Uber driver yesterday um, taking us to Perry's said that she went to the uh, the weekend concert in in Dallas. Oh mm-hmm. really? Yeah. So what are the odds of that? So I threw Kyle a curveball and I go, man, he is extremely talented. And Kyle's like, whoa. So wait, were you, is, were you not a fan before? Or? I mean, I don't dislike. It's not my type of music. But, oh, okay. Um, you like you know. more like a like rock, right? Right. right. Yeah. Uh, and, rock, heavy metal. And those guys just take a beating on their voice, right? I mean, there are a lot of the guys that that I listen to that are still touring. They, you know, the band tunes down so that they don't have to sing as high mm. because it just they're not. They can still sing. They just can't sing like they used to. But it is, you know, like Jared said, it's just 
the stress and it's not going out for 45 minutes or an hour. I mean, it's two hours, three hours that some of these guys do shows like the weekend does. And if, if it's at least every other night, I don't know what his schedule's like. I mean, it's brutal, you know? Yeah. yeah. Another thing too, like you've seen bands like Van Halen, right? I, I already see the tweet. So I know you've seen over the years, Van Halen, Guns N' Roses type, that type of mm-hmm. area. What would you say is your like probably best concert you've been to? Cause you, I'm sure you've seen a lot in that. It's it's Aspect tough, but and and it's you know. But would I'm, you say you have a favorite one or no? We were going to concerts every night back in the '80s. It seemed like right, but yeah. then as you get older, the bands that you really love, like I'm a big Rush fan, mm-hmm. and we went to Rush in 2015, which ended up being their last tour, um, and it was phenomenal. It was just like you just took all of that from all the years and kind of validate that these guys are as great as you think they are, right? Yeah. And I got to take Kyle and and my daughter Taylor too, and uh, we were fourth row at American Airlines Center. It was awesome. So it's good that's, stuff. I think that's kind of, I think it's cool for your aspect to see like that you saw these bands years ago, right? And then fast forward 15, 20 years later and they're still playing, they're still killing it. Would you see like, would you say there's a difference in, or no? Like you still get the same, like you're still pumped up when you go to these concerts. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's still yeah. the same thing. Yeah, and hey, I, we have this friendly, you know, debate about music and I'll bring out an album that's 40 years old at, you still hear every day somewhere, either at a sporting event or on the radio, and say, "Hey, I'm tease Kyle. You think people be listening to the weekend in 40 years?" And he's like, "Absolutely." <laughs> and I go, tell. "Huh?" That's why it's kind of, it's kind of. I know I will. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, though, like, but that's what I'm thinking. Like, imagine 20 years from now, we're you know, going to a weekend concert or something. Like, it's. I wonder how it's going to hit. I mean, I'm sure. And, and your kids are going to say, man, he's lame. That's old people. Well, that, that brings up my next point. Where did you get like your hip hop <clears throat> chops from? Um, it was probably, I was, uh, probably when I got into middle school, um, my whole life I grew up, uh, listening to the hard rock, heavy metal, you know, old, old country, uh, uh, all that stuff. And, and it, it, all in between of those genres. And then when I got to middle school, I really came really close with my, my, he's my best man in the wedding, Mason. And he all he only thing he listened to was hip hop. Mm. So I showed him all of this hard rock and <laughs> all of these all of these like yeah. classic classic hard rock, heavy metal, eighties metal, all this like rock and roll. He showed me all the hip hop. <laughs> yeah, I did a good swap. Fast like, forward for sure. today, I listen to more hip hop now than he does and he listens to more hard rock now because he i mean i grew up and now so kind of like trading places where mm-hmm. i'm making up for the lost time that i didn't listen to hip-hop he's making yeah. he's trying to catch up to me in my knowledge so in hard rock so it's 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 funny how it worked like that but that middle schoolish is when i uh start listening to hip-hop and then uh, VH1 Classic, you know they would always have like just always just putting music videos yeah. or MTV. I would when I grew up, I would either watch I would watch a little bit of cartoons here and there, but I would be watching ESPN or I'd be watching VH1 Classic or MTV. So even like the music that, <clears throat> I mean, Luther Vandross. I mean, oh like, yeah, like I mean I didn't grow up listening to it, but I I fell into that wormhole mm-hmm. where I saw a music video and then I started looking up on YouTube and then it just went to this rabbit hole of finding other musics and that's pretty much what I do with everything and now I'm like anybody can talk about it, any music and I can be like, oh yeah, I like that song, this album and yeah. stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty much how I got into it and I- my dad respects it but he also always makes fun of me with it, like- Because that's what dads do. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, keep if, him if, keep him honest. So, any any auto tune or if if there's no actual instruments into it, like what is that shit? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, we went to this really cool karaoke bar in uh, in Miami, and everybody was getting up there doing their thing, and I just recognized like this is crazy. Everyone that gets up there really sounds good. So I went over to the the guy the the, the DJ and uh-huh. said, "Hey man, do you have pitch control working on this?" He goes, "Absolutely." <laughs> And I go, all right. I said, that's cool. But um, 
the his friend that he referred to, Mason, they got up and did uh, good, uh, good vibrations, Marky Mark, and the funky I was gonna bunch. say y'all yeah. were y'all over the dancing and shit. Y'all were doing yeah, this late Marky shit. Mark. Oh, I don't know. And I was losing my voice. That. I was losing my voice halfway through, and people were like, "Dude, you were amazing." And I was like, "Really?" <laughs> Well, I, guess the, I guess the pitch, pitch correction That's was actually helping genius, my voice. Though. I mean, the videos that everyone took, I'm like, man, I, I need to try out for the voice. And my buddy Mason, <laughs> he he has a, like a higher pitched uh, voice Mason in general. Mason was doing this shit. I don't know. Y'all yeah, were clapping. He was, he was y'all doing all hyping kinds the of... crowd up, but he was doing the girl part. Oh, yeah. Because he can hit the yeah, get he, up I high. Know. So, yeah. It's genius, though, because then the, the people in the, the bar or the karaoke place are getting into it. Because everyone sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And then you as a performer get more into it because the people are into it. So it's yeah. like everyone wins. Hey, and that's, that's the beauty of it. When you're singing, they have monitors there, but you can't really. You're just trying to sing, right? <laughs> yeah. And you don't realize. You're just hoping it comes across, right? And everyone that got up there sounded great. It was really cool. So. Yeah. I think that like gives your confidence at another level, which is good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you feel better. like, in the, and Especially in the moment, if you're like drinking, you probably wouldn't even know. Like You just sound... You feel like you sound badass, so it's like I I like that whole pitch control, like for sure. Well, see, yeah. like my I, what I I know I can't sing, and it's a <laughs> fact. But I'm not afraid to get up and grab the mic and start Hell singing. Yeah, you're a real one, bro. Because I'm more of a I'm gonna put on a performance so well that you forget that I stink at singing. <laughs> like I you'll be that. like, this dude is just taking over the crowd. And just like the back of your head, like you just really don't care. Like I sing terribly, yeah. but the show was great. But what was going through your ears, you just ignored it because you have like that good confidence that you can do that. Like for me, like I'm not afraid of people. I love people. I can talk. I can do whatever. I can be a dumbass like as I am. <laughs> but in general, like karaoke is one thing I have never done in my life. Oh. I'm just scared. I can't. Even if it's a room of us, us four or five. I still want to do it. Like, I'm just, I'm terrified. So. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pix, Pix has a live karaoke. Oh, shit. We have they better have band. pitch control over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first question you ask when you walk in. Do y'all have pitch control? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I'm so, down to do karaoke tonight. We have, uh, our, our, my, my parents have a, like a music room and they, they, we do karaoke. It's almost every single time mm-hmm. we go and see them. Either the first night or we got to do it before Emerald and I leave. We got to do karaoke. And uh, it's just a tradition that we do. It's, I mean, it, you you have to fight for the microphone. Bro. Yes, there, we, be, every the the live crowd can attest to this. <laughs> they they have like ten songs in their back pocket ready to fire, and so do we have ten songs. And it's literally you have to go up there and wrestle for the mic. <laughs> Yeah. But Emerald, when we first started dating, it was pulling teeth to get her up I was going to say. Now. Oh, she kills it? She's the one getting up and grabbing the mic, too. She's <laughs> grabbing it up and everything. I was going to say, like, I see y'all's videos, you know, that they'll, they'll post, like, when y'all do the whole karaoke thing. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, Christmas was, like, must be really nice at y'all's house. Like, I'm sure, like, Christmas, <laughs> y'all, y'all wake up and, like, y'all be, like, y'all in jammies and y'all go do karaoke and shit, like. I know that shit's badass. Like, I want to spend Christmas with y'all. Jammies. Like, <laughs> Have you guys ever gone Christmas caroling? No, I've no. gone to Christmas Caroling once. Really? Yes. It was. <laughs> Should we do it together? <laughs> I'll be t- <laughs> Thoughts and players. Thoughts and players. <laughs> caroling. Yeah. And- <laughs> We're just wearing Santa hats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh no, uh, a, a, a Kyle Chris, Santa? A Christmas caroling. I'm uh, the elf. My ears and shit. <laughs> Christmas caroling podcast. Bring the doorbell, set up a foldable table, and just do a podcast right in front of us. Yes. Hey, we're going to do a live cast, podcast right in front of you if you want to just watch us. Do it real quick. <laughs> Dude, uh, let's do that. Kyle dresses up as Santa. We'll be the elves. We're not the, we're not the, we're the perfect height, right? Or you're the perfect height for elves. I'm one yes. inch shortest. I'm not the perfect height. <laughs> but I'll be the elf. Santa, let's do it. Who wants to be Rudolph? Yeah, uh, okay? not I. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Emily would be Rudolph. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. We can do that. That's crazy. But talking about content stuff, you know, like you love music. My father was um, telling me. So he saw over the years. He's my my father loves all kinds of music, rap, hip hop, um, rock, all that. And he told me Guns N' Roses is one of his best concerts he's ever been to. He said he saw NWA. He saw. Jay Z. I mean, he's seen a, like a lot of people over the years, especially to like even like artists today. Like he saw them too, but he said Guns N' Roses was like one of the best concerts he's ever he's ever been to. So I have mixed feelings on that. I saw Guns N' Roses in '86 before mm-hmm. their album Appetite for Destruction, you know, broke. I mean, it was out, but no one knew what it was, right? And um, they were horrible. 
It was a oh, train really? wreck. <laughs> no, really. It was a train no it was a train wreck. But they were all strung out strung yeah. out on heroin and Yeah, you lied. Yeah. <laughs> But then we saw them at ACL in 2019, mm-hmm. and they're all sober, and they sound fantastic, right? So they yeah. sound better now to me than they did back then. Back then, they were a train wreck, but they're all strung out, you know? Yeah. So different. I guess uh, something about like that, I guess that rock is different. I've never been to like a rock concert mm-hmm. in my life. Never. It's, it's I want to No rock sure. concert, no karaoke. <laughs> you, Come on, Jared. It's two strikes right Let me now. hang out with y'all for a fucking this summer. This will be, probably be my dad. <laughs> That would be the last time my dad's on the podcast. Have you been, it's have you been to a rock concert? What, what concert did you go to? Oh, have I been to rock concerts? <laughs> Hello. my So my first concert ever. How old was I? Six, six, six years Holy old, seven shit. years old. Are you even allowed to go? Yeah. That young? Yeah, he probably got a discount. <laughs> he didn't have no damn headphones or nothing. No wonder Kyle can't hear me. I saw, I saw a kiss. I like this. I saw Kiss when I was six years old. Kiss? Yeah, Kiss. Motherfuckers with the the, the face. The, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the, they got the face yeah. mask. Yeah. Oh yeah, the guys with the yeah, face. The guys, yeah. the guys with the face. White yeah. face. Yeah, they they, they put oh, yeah, the face. That, that, that guy was hey, scared, they're legendary. Though. Yeah, the guy with the face. He got scared because there's a point in the show where Gene Simmons flies out over the crowd on a wire, you know, and he's got his demon cape out and he's spitting and he blood, blood up and Kyle's like ah. Kyle just goes to school like on Monday. Hey, how was your weekend? Yeah, I saw <laughs> saw <a> kiss. <laughs> that badass. I saw a demon <laughs> flying over me. But yeah, yeah I saw I saw uh, kiss. I've seen Rush. I've seen uh, Scorpions twice. I've seen Rat. I've seen Poison. I've seen Cinderella. I've seen. Uh, we have a. Uh, they're. I mean, to us, they're a huge band because we see them so much, but. Uh, to the public eye, they're, I mean, unless you're someone's listening and they're like really hardcore with you know, rock and roll. The band called Kings X. We've seen them like forty times. Are they like a local one or no? Uh, pretty- yes, yes and no. Uh, but I mean, they've been around. They were grunge before grunge, mm-hmm. and they came. They were like the grunge, and they were like in the late '80s, and it wasn't cool the yet. But if they came mm-hmm. out. When Nirvana and all and you know came out, they would be massive stars right now. But I guess they were just ahead of so ahead of their time that they didn't catch the wave at the right time. But us, they're from uh, they're from they're all from Houston, right? Well, they're from different parts, but they got their start in Houston. Yeah. So they moved there, and um, actually, the band ZZ Top, their management company, got them going. So. Um, those they, are the guys with the beards. And yeah, you know, the guy, <laughs> yeah. with the faces. Yeah. <laughs> with the faces. Yeah. They have faces. But right? um, <laughs> yeah, King's X just came out with a brand new album like two days ago. So Damn, they're, still, they're going still going there. at it. Yeah. And we're going to go see them in November. So. Yeah, for like the 44th. A question time. I have for you too wow. is that um, so Van Halen, I'm sure, has been like a pretty big part oh, yeah. of your life, oh, yeah. right? I'm sure oh, yeah. I see you tweet about Van Halen, all this. How is seeing Van Halen now? Because it's his son, Wolf, right? Wolf, yeah. So. Seeing the difference, what would you say? Like, so there's no Van Halen anymore. So Wolf doesn't do Van Halen. Actually, okay. he did Van Halen last night at a at a tribute concert. But mm-hmm. um, he has his got, own thing now. He's got his own band, okay. and he's he's like got he's just trying like his own roots, right? Yeah, now. and he's and it's it's rock, and he plays. But his his album that he put out, he played every instrument: bass, drums, guitar, did all the vocals. So then he had to go put a band together and mm-hmm. tour. And we've seen him three times. Phenomenal. I mean, just. Really? You know, so he, just is he like father or son like yeah he got the genes yeah it. oh yeah yeah he's he's phenomenal damn that's crazy but you saw you've seen van halen in the early days and then you saw them when they got not van hagar but when they got back together with david lee yeah so i saw him in 79 80 81 82 then i didn't see then the band kind of changed, you know, and Sammy Hagar came in and David Lee Roth left. But anyway, David Lee came back in and we saw him in 2007 and 2012, the original guys. But they had yeah. Wolf playing bass. And in 2007, Wolf was on tour with him playing bass mm-hmm. and he was 14 years old. So that's how good that kid is. So. That's insane. Imagine a 14 year old just damn. swinging that damn guitar. Yeah, just like, hey, I'm going to be homeschooled. Out of, out of middle school and just might as well so you know his mom stage. is valerie bertinelli right and valerie bertinelli toured because she wanted to make sure someone was taken care of you know? yeah send a 14 year old with a bunch of Damn. grown men right she's like no nah. it's cool who were the first like rock bands to rock masks because i went through like a slipknot phase 
And when I was in the- <laughs> Actually, like, I love that. as early as early as like fourth grade, Man, one of my best friends. Arthur's got, hair was long. He wore the like, he wore the same Slipknot shirt to school every single day. Stanky, and it rubbed off on me a little bit. Stanky, stanky. Ew, yeah, the stank rubbed off. That's what happened. <laughs> he, like, he showed me some of their stuff. I kind of got into it, but I would watch their concert videos and their music videos, and they, it was kind of terrifying for me at yeah. that at that age. They would wear the creepy masks. And, yeah, so mask. I don't know that anybody's done what they did, but makeup, obviously, Kiss came out in 74. The faces? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think I about, do remember the Kiss, yeah. Think about Kiss came out in 74, and people just thought, man, a bunch of devil worshippers. Something's not right. And, yeah. You know. What did they say uh, Kiss st- stood for? Knights in Satan's service. Mm. Yeah. Dude, they come up with every, anything. What was that one band that was on Netflix? They had the documentary, uh, Crazy Band, back in the same same era. Oh my god, bro! Was it on Netflix? It was like a, it was like a biopic. It. it was a uh, <laughs> dude. Was they it Molly Crew? Like, there we go. Molly Crew. Did you ever see them? Mm-hmm. Yep. How were they? Um, good. I mean, back in the eighties, because they they, were, they were like the partiers. Like they party yeah. like crazy. Like they travel. They did all that. The whole tour. Yeah, I I didn't see them. Like I saw them early on, like eighty two, eighty three ish. Before they kind of blew up. Um, they were starting to blow okay. up, right? And then um. Then I didn't see him forever, and because I saw the Netflix, or it was like a, it was like a Netflix, like it's it wasn't actual. Yeah, it wasn't actual then, but I mean, they try to like yeah, replay it. But I yeah. thought it was interesting. I'm like, man, these guys like lived like the rock star lifestyle. Like those yeah. guys were crazy. And they, from what I understand, they didn't embellish. They, they actually cut things out of that movie that really? probably would have made it. No work. way. Yeah. It, it would. Yeah. So that that movie was supposed to be on in theaters, right? Or like Paramount was supposed right. to do it, and then it, Paramount watched it and said it was too raunchy for theaters, and said <laughs> nope, and then cut it, and then so they took it to Netflix, and Netflix, Netflix. Still, still had the cut out parts. No yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say Netflix would put anything out. No, yeah, <laughs> I, I know. There's some stuff that they did like because it's based off a book. Yeah. And there's stuff in that book that is not suitable for the eyes. It like, just seems like they live like the rock style lifestyle. Like it just they're yeah. like a rock star. Yeah, the 80s, probably the worst. You know, 70s, those guys like the Aerosmiths and the Rolling Stones and all that, they were mm-hmm. all users of drugs and all that. But in the 80s, it was just, they took it like over the top. Trash and, hotel rooms. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Should we do that? O- Ozzy, Ozzy, Sto- Ozzy <laughs> oh, no. Snoring. Should dance. we do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't take The Phil. first <laughs> rock star podcast. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Rock stars. It fits. Just be wild. Yeah. yeah. We can make it happen. We can do it. You can like lead the train. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> so you've never been, are you into rap at all or were you at any point? No, not really. No. But, um, <laughs> I mean, rap to a guy like me was like the Beastie Boys, you know? Yeah. Like, and that was just because it what was. What about like, um, so you love, like you love rock. What about like Earth, Wind and Fire type vibes? Did you ever? Oh, yeah. We used, me and my brother used to listen to Earth, Wind and Fire, the Ohio okay, so Players. Because you, you love Stevie music, Wonder. So I feel like you yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah. I've seen them three times in my life. My, me and my dad go almost every time they come to San Antonio. And let me tell you, I've seen Jay Z, Kanye West, Drake. I can tell you any, any any rappers, artists these days, but Earth, Wind and Fire, best concert I've, I've been to. <laughs> Swear to God. You, you, you th- no, you th- no, you think I'm, but you don't understand. And I can debate come anybody on, these no. days, even the weekend. Bro, the production, when you hear music, a band, like it's it's just different. I swear to God, bro. Swear to God. Earth, Wind and Fire, best concert I've ever been to. Yeah, they have a horn section. I mean, it's they're no, an extremely is. good band. You have to like hearing music i swear to guys like and they perform like a whole like it's it's a product the production is crazy like you just so, gotta hear it so you'll think this is interesting 2012 we saw van halen here in san antonio at&t center and cool and the gang opened the concert and so you're thinking that doesn't make sense right and david lee ross said hey this is a party we're we're going to kick it off like a party because he just loved earth wind and fire and yeah. pile players and cool and the gang and all that so you had all these rockers sitting there listening to cool and the gang that Growing up, would have said, "Man, that's not cool." Just, just getting into <laughs> no it, pun and it was really, it was really neat. Damn, yeah, yeah. Earth, I don't know, man. Earth and fire. Please, just see them once before you die. <laughs> right. right now, it's at the point where they're some of the members, their sons are actually like taking over like the band. So, like, you're not gonna, you might not see the original, but I'm sorry, right now, dude. Yeah. Hearing like a, I don't know, I just love, and that's why I even tell people too, like Earth and the Fire was amazing. Jay Z also was amazing because 
when I saw Jay Z, he had three levels of instruments, drums on one level. He had like saxophones. He had it was like a legit band. Like in yeah. Jay Z, he's rapping, but he's having like a whole band. And I think it's better than like having. You, you put an artist out there and you put an instrumental beat, you know, they're beating, they're just rapping or whatever. Like, that's cool and all. But when you actually, like, hear the instruments, it's hands down better than anything. Yeah. Like, I just love the, like, hearing, like, all the instruments playing together. But, yeah, Jay-Z, that guy, he can perform. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the discussion we have all the time is it's less about the genre of music to me and it's more are there real people on stage playing exactly or yeah. are they yeah. playing to a backing track exactly that's, you know. something about like just hearing the instruments i don't know i love it man i really do like i that's why like no matter what you could put a rapper on a stage but if he has a live band and right now so justin bieber that's exactly what he's doing right now like he has his own justin bieber band like so now on tour he has yeah guitars he has drums everything like and they're playing his music instead of putting the soundtrack in the background and he's like going over the music. It just, you get a yeah. better experience when you go on tour <laughs> and you go to those concerts. Like it is genius though. Cause you get to keep all the money. You don't have to pay the band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm business. sure any guy would be like, yeah, I'm done to like go on tour. Justin Bieber being his, his drums. Like, I mean, why not? I mean, I don't yeah. know. You know, I'm sure he's getting some cut, but yeah. I, I just yeah. love like hearing like the whole instruments, man. That's just my favorite thing. Yeah. No matter what, no matter what type of music, just well, did you guys hear about the baby? Couldn't sell like 500 tickets to a show, yeah. so they just canceled just like, uh, today. So they just canceled the whole thing, and it was like supposed to be an arena. <laughs> wow! Well, so there's this rapper called the baby, the baby, no, no, <laughs> the baby, baby. little baby, <laughs> but he, hey, so, baby. baby to put a pause, to put a, you know, the rap snacks. Yeah, you know, all we is so that Miami, baby? That's that's little baby. Oh, okay. So we got all these like we got seven different kinds of rap snacks in Miami. They were just all just lined hey, up. Hey, by the way, they were good. They, they were, were really good. Wait, what, what is they a rap snack? Oh, yeah. Rap snacks, you know, like Migos, da yeah. Dabber Ranch. They're like they're chips, sour cream with oh. the Dabber Ranch. Pretty good. They're they're yeah. Rappers, that's dope. I was first time hearing of this. Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah, we'll go to seven eleven. Great, dude. Shit, you'll find some great <laughs> yeah. So my dad was just loving every single one of them. So he was looking at him. He goes, "Little baby, I like little baby now." <laughs> <laughs> he makes a good hey, snack. Go, go, Rick Ross had one. DJ Khaled had one. Uh, Bow Wow. Um, Bow Wow. Migos, <laughs> Bow Wow. Uh, uh, Cardi B had some. Yeah, yeah. Cardi B has and, one. And. Uh, and um, Migos, all the yeah, yeah I've Migos, had the Migos was the first ones. ever one. The sour cream with the dab of ranch. Yeah, I've had the <laughs> <laughs> they're like chips, bro. But like they have but like rappers. Rick, like on Rick the Ross's chip was uh, it had to be um, lemon pepper or something. Ste uh, steaming hot lemon pepper. <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're good. Uh, and so my dad's like, so anytime I tell him about a rapper, he goes, "They got any chips? Yeah, they got <laughs> chips. If they they got chips, I don't want to hear it. That's his criteria. Because they got them. I mean, what they're like seven it different looked, kinds. It looked like they just said screw Doritos, screw Fritos, Lay's, all this, and just cleared it out and just said wrap snacks only. We walked into the gas station and we're like, well, we gotta get we taste all of them. Yeah, that's genius. So we got all of them. them. That makes me want to buy them for sure. Yeah. So big fan. <laughs> <laughs> so the baby doesn't have. Rap snacks. Oh. So he doesn't. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the worst baby. Yeah. <laughs> if it was a little baby, then he's interested. Yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. my baby. He's good chips. <laughs> Just in the background. Yeah. Hey, when, but, when this guy was in high school, I took him and two of his friends to uh, Wiz Khalifa. That was the uh, you know Arthur was. That there. was Arthur. Oh, yeah, Arthur was at the, that. Was my first rap concert that, actually. Yeah, that, Arthur lived. My dad was, was the Wiz. <laughs> I was, I was there and it was right around Thanksgiving 2011. Was there a lot of weed? Right? Oh, for sure. Oh, I remember. Hotbox. Hey, I had one of San Antonio's finest standing next to me and I, I go, I guess you can't arrest them all. And he goes, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I remember because I was not like, I remember being shocked. You were like 13, right? Yeah, 12? I remember being shocked by like the wall of weed that you just walk into. Oh, yeah. And there was cops around, but I was like, there's just nothing they could do. I went to the concession stand and the lady band goes, oh, another dad brought the kid to see Wiz Khalifa. I go, huh? And she goes, I bet you're hungry, aren't you? And I go, uh-huh. <laughs> and she pulled out and she goes, hey, you need this. You know, it's one of those big old pretzels. It's an Alamo Dome, right? Big old pretzel yeah. and a beer. And I came back over there and one of Kyle's friends goes, Mr. McKinney, can you buy us a beer? And I go, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you are like 16. Yeah. But is that like a thing, though? Is secondhand smoking with marijuana? Is that a thing? Oh, you can get secondhand smoke? Someone yeah. told me it's not, though. Like I, you, I've never experienced it really. It's like, like, it's like hot boxing. I heard, but I heard that's what I thought too. Like, like hot, boxing. hot boxing. Someone said like you can't like necessarily get high off of like second half smoking with marijuana. But I don't know. I mean, just probably there's enough of it. And there's no point of hot boxing. 
You could like, you could cut the air with a knife in the Alamo Dome. Yeah, it was that. Yeah, that it was. Strong. Oh, yeah, it, it wasn't was, just like it was a big cloud. Oh, I smell and it, it, it. it didn't help that Wiz Khalifa just came out of a gigantic bong. <laughs> <laughs> I had never smoked in my life at that point, but it made me want to. <laughs> it's like I could do this. <laughs> it's like something about this feels right. It's like you know what? You just yeah. feel safe. <laughs> I feel oh very God. calm right now. Well, <laughs> I'm in the right. Was place. it at the AT and T Center or was no, it? No, uh, Alamo Dome. Dome. Oh, the oh, illusions. Shit. You know when they used to cut it in half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it wasn't like the whole. Wiz thing. got that. Yeah, with uh, Juicy J. Oh my God. He has chips. Not even Drake. Juicy, <laughs> J. <laughs> Juicy J has chips. Well, Juicy we got J. home like at midnight, and we had family visiting because it was during Thanksgiving, right? And we just walked in the door and started making sandwiches. I mean, it was midnight. <laughs> Everyone's hungry as fuck. Oh, yeah. Give starving. me the chips, mom. <laughs> Bro, it was yeah, it was like late at night, and we just unloaded the fridge. Anything that we could get our hands on, it was on the ca- kitchen counter, and we just threw concoctions together. And <laughs> how many sandwiches are that tall? <laughs> and then we, and then it was, it was funny. Is we, when we ate it, we sat. Me and my dad sat at the kitchen table, no talking. It was just. Yeah, it was just, like, just, like, no it was just was quiet, <laughs> just killing a fucking big ass sandwich. Yeah. So that's my go-to when you know I work with guys way younger than me, and they're like, "Man, you ever been to a rap concert?" Like, Dude, I saw Wiz Khalifa at the Alamo Dome. <laughs> that's middle. all you have to say. Dang, yeah, that's all okay. you have to say. Yeah, and then that's it. I, I haven't even seen Wiz, but I know he he loved Wiz like back he's on in the day. tour with Logic right now. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I Logic got a tattoo. He got a Taylor Gang tattoo. Yeah. And it was like he posted a video of it, and Wiz Khalifa was like all emotional. So <laughs> pr- pretty recently, it was like an I emotional think, moment. I think two weeks ago, uh, Wiz Khalifa he was like at a club, and the DJ was playing just random songs, and he just dropped an album, like a new album, Wiz Khalifa, and he got mad that the DJ wasn't playing his songs, and he legit like he got his hat, he threw the DJ's hat, he was like. Play my fucking shit like it was like a live video like oh i heard kid. about that you saw yeah he was so mad that the, and he made the dj play his new songs like why don't you play my shit like i'm at the club whatever and like in my head i'm like damn that that dj like he got bullied by wiz khalifa like, here's right the thing there. is like what he, i mean no one cares about wiz khalifa yeah, anymore i mean like, talk yeah. about a fall off he's not the mean? same yeah, he's like, i didn't even i would have said he, hey man you got chips <laughs> you know, you're not getting your song if you don't have chips. If you don't have chips, I don't want to hear. I'm not playing your shit. If you don't got yeah. chips. And, and I, if you don't have chips, and then with Wiz Khalifa, if there's not another uh, Fast and Furious, he's falling off. Oh Fast, yeah. Fast and Furious is the only thing keeping his career alive. And this isn't fat. Wait, oh, oh, every song? single Fast and Furious. Like, oh, I swear I didn't see no, the song. No, see you again. Yeah. Right? See you again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's Charlie, what saved him. Uh, Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth. That song yeah. changed my life. Well, that's song makes you just sad as fuck. Right? Makes me sad as hell. It reminds me of graduating high school. Oh, <laughs> I see you all the fucking time, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you see the same people from high school every day. <laughs> see you every class. Uh, well, the nice. only other one I went to, I took Kyle to. Um, oh, party next party door. Party right? next door. That was. I went to that. That one. was defeating. Let me tell you, right <laughs> now, that, was, no. that was in Dallas. That was in Dallas. I'm gonna say it was right defeating. Now. Even if the one in Dallas, I'm sure, was like San Antonio. The uh, worst concert I've been to. Yes, life. I've seen him worst. twice. He is worst. But he he he's and one no of those chips. guys. I was so disappointed because <laughs> it just seemed like he didn't even want to perform. Like he just it just it was bad, bro. The production. He wanted he, to be anywhere. He but came there. out. He came out when when we saw him. With, when I saw him with my dad, he came out an hour late. And yep. then first thing he says, not he didn't just come out, start singing. He's like, "Hey, I got a cold," and I'm like. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was just like it was literally like some. Tell me, talk about someone who needed that auto tune and dude, his voice oh, no. is garbage. It was bad, bro. It was bad. I feel you. I'm glad that I wasn't the only one because I'm like, I hope he's not having like a like just a bad night. But I've heard from other people like they haven't had any good experiences with Party Next Door, bro. We were there, came out late, and he just wasn't like. It just seemed like he didn't want to be there. Like it just sucked because. Every artist like wants to put some effort in. He put zero effort in. Like mm-hmm. he just collect his check and and it was like at a smaller place in San Antonio. We're at the Majestic, so probably holds like five thousand people. Not not nothing crazy, yeah. you know. But he legit would. He went out there. The songs in the background. He just went over it basically, and he left. Like it was just it was terrible, bro. And it's crazy because yeah. I was such a big 
party next same, door fan. Same. Hearing Those his concerts, music, me and I Arthur, still am. Y'all gotta stop ruining. No, me. if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally after after I saw those songs twice, changed, right, yeah. I literally don't want to hear his music. I'm like, dude, because like bro. I'm just like being. Arthur, don't ever see him in concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't ever see him. If you want to keep your love for him alive, do not see him. Because when you hear his music, I don't care. you would you would he's <laughs> opening for somebody, show up late. You're like, <laughs> you would think because his music's like so good, like that it would actually like hit, but. No, did it? Was Not bad. at all. Nothing was terrible. I stood, a, I stood at the back of the room, just going, like, "What stood, are we he stood, doing?" He's like, "Why do I come to this he, shit?" He was. At, he stood up by the bar, and he was just like, "Another one." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like trying to maneuver. The I'm gonna stick to Van Halen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kyle was way up. I could see him. He was way up, trying to be up at the front of the stage, and I'm way at the very back, going, just keeping an eye on him. Yeah. I'm like, man, that's bad. Oh my god! I remember being at a concert in austin i was like almost front row i was seeing the neighborhood and it sounded so bad that at some point i just made my way through the crowd stood in the back yeah but what i found out was in the back it just sounded better i guess it was like positioning of the speakers whatever it sounded horrible towards the front but when you're in the back it actually sounded how it's supposed to sound yeah. well if you're too close like to the speakers it's not gonna yeah, it's just gonna be, sounds like noise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like really just the the beat, and it's hard to hear like when you know when you're getting your ribs crushed by the crowd too. Yeah, you know, if you're in the front, so I'm I'm just over crowds. So party next door is pretty bad. I'm terrible. <laughs> another another guy was Fetty Wap. Um, I saw, oh god, <laughs> dude's, in, dude's in jail right so, now. Is he actually? He is. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Is, he thirty is. years. What? Free Freddy. Fake drug. Bro. Drugs. Oh, Arthur knew drugs. I was one of the biggest Fetty Wap fans. Like I, <laughs> I love this guy before he was on the come. He doesn't have chips. No chips. No, no chips. Chip. He has one eye. <laughs> but he has no one chips. eye though. <laughs> What's his name? Fetty Wap. This is Fetty Wap. I mean, sounds like, sound like Whirly Gig. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't even know, but it sounds <laughs> funny. So this it's guy Fetty Wap, bro. <laughs> you know when people say like, "Hey, I'm gonna bring everyone like." with me like when i i make it like one day this guy brought the whole new jersey like with him like he had like 10 openers <laughs> all like just people you had no idea about and he got on stage there was at least 15 people with him on stage you don't know which one's fetty Wap. like there's so <laughs> many there's just so many people like oh, there's one of those like if i eat we all no, eat no, exactly. like, i'm on stage we all on he stage. brought them all with him like he took him from new jersey the bro on tour and like it was terrible, yeah. So that was party next door was the second worst concert I've been to. Oh, so Fetty, yeah, Jesus. Fetty Wap, wow. yeah, hands down, but worse. I ran into a rapper and his whole entourage like at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Who? It was a uh, YFN Lucci or something. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's he's a he's a big he's a he's like he's, a B list and like um, well the guy had three Escalades yeah. and like wait, forty Arthur, dudes. Wait, I was forty with dudes. You. Yeah, really. <laughs> Oh, we're coming back from New Orleans. Come, bro, we, we pulled up to like a gas station. There was like so many black on black uh, SUVs. Uh, like, and just a bunch of dudes. Yeah. I was kind of scared. <laughs> should should be, bro. Bro. Why is it, it, Lucci is. I should have asked for an autograph, but now. Yeah. yeah I'll was, was still hung over. He, 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 rolls, he rolls deep. I remember me and yeah, Arthur, bro, but it's just like, the, what are the odds of us pulling to like a random gas station on the way back from New Orleans to San Antonio? And the same time, and he's with the whole crew. I think they were even trying to do a music video. You remember? I don't think they were. Gas station music video? <laughs> Swear to God. They were taking videos and shit. Or at least they had like, uh, probably documentary. documentary. Remember, like they were just taking a break. Documentary that got put on Vice And we're or like, something. who's that rapper? <laughs> you <laughs> see me and Jared in the background. <laughs> Everyone had chains. Like, you just, they look like. They uh, look like an entourage. Yeah. Type. yeah and I'm over sure. here with N1 slides. I'm. I just look busted as fuck. I'm nowhere compared to them. Coming off a bender. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Should have gotten a music video though. So I'm I'm gonna bring up the topic before y'all even I'm just gonna hit it you know, head first here. Um I already prepped my dad, like he asked me before we started, like, what do you want to talk what what should I talk about and stuff? And I was like, Oh, I'm pretty sure they got some stuff. So for Arthur and Jared, uh What's one? What's one uh, embarrassing story? All cards on the table. Of me, growing up. There we go. From if, if I was super young, or if it was last week, you know, or all in between. I'll just hit it head first, and I'll be the one bringing it up because <laughs> I'll lay in the bed that I've made, you know. So 
So you want me to tell these guys yeah, about Yeah, from your it? point of view. So when Kyle was little, this is crazy because he had – he always wanted to be, you know, center stage, right? Like we'd have people over and be playing music and he'd be air guitar and, and pretending to sing and he'd putting on a performance. But the same kid that did that would get really wound up or anxious about something and throw up. He was the king of oh, projectile shit. vomit. <laughs> I don't. We took him to see a Star. <laughs> he yeah. just throw up. <laughs> we were in a movie theater watching Star Wars. I don't even know which ep- episode three. Episode three, and it's just he's sitting there. He's not saying a word, and boom, oh, just all over no the back warning. of the seat. Wait, he, oh yeah, it would it would come like, projectile horizontal <laughs> from here to that. If you're in the yeah. splash zone, wear wear a poncho. <laughs> like, so you would just throw up random. He would yeah, just dude. get nervous. Yeah. Whatever it was, we were in uh, uh, Rainforest Cafe. Oh yeah, oh, in, in great tacos. The rainforest started and it started. Wait, no, chicken tennis, oh, chicken shit. tennis. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the place that have the best chicken tennis. Just saying. Okay, thank you for well, that. We the, all cared about. Well, that. I saw the chicken tenders twice. They have an, once he ate and then once after they came oh, up. <laughs> yeah, Kyle begs so, to differ. <laughs> so we kind of could figure out when he was about to have one of these little episodes because he'd get quiet and he kind of get this look on his face. So I was making a mad dive to the men's room, opened the door. A man, probably in his fifties or whatever, is walking out, and Kyle just boom right on the <laughs> ground, or right over the guy's shoes and everything. I said, "Man, I'm sorry." And he goes, "It's okay, it's okay." And I think the only other thing that the only other time that that, that I remember is at a restaurant called the Blue Mesa. Don't have any idea what had him all wound up. We're sitting at the table and just projectile vomit all over the table, and all <laughs> the people around us are just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> at a restaurant, so. <laughs> Please. I don't do it anymore. Okay. <laughs> so I Did don't you know ever any... do it at school? What? Did you ever like throw up at school? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think Never? so. Well, I mean, only football, and that's because it was just. So I learned like, like all to me. pass to go home was you just tell the nurse you threw up, and uh, they can't oh, track it because you fingers. flushed it. No, I, I wouldn't even throw up. I was fine, but I would tell her. <laughs> I'll tell the nurse, man, my tummy hurts. I threw up. <laughs> hey, there's no proof. I, or you say you have diarrhea. Oh, you yeah. Go home. There, you have to go home if you have throw up or diarrhea. I learned the hard way. Well, and, see, I, I mean, I didn't go ever go home. I don't, I mean, I guess that's just the I don't school be district dial list. And they wouldn't like, no, nah, you ain't going home. Yeah. But I go. knew if you went to the nurse, they give you a bed and they turn the lights off and you can take a nap. They give you a cracker and a fucking. Saltine. I had appendicitis one time. They didn't even let me go home. Wait, oh Jesus, shit! Lord. Lord. Oh my Damn, God. Your nurse didn't care about you. What are we? What are we what the <laughs> hell? It's like suck it up, rip some dirt on it. The nurse didn't know how to like tell what it was. She sure. thought it was just like a stomach ache. Should have Ubered your ass to the urgent care. Send me right back to you, class. You, <laughs> nice. Hey, so yeah, no, you trying to get out You're of this fine. test? You're you trying to get out of this test? Let's see what you're doing. This little shit. Hey, so I'm 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 gonna date myself here but you know back in the day you didn't have electronic thermometers right you had mm-hmm. the old mercury thermometer and so you go to the nurse's office they stick that thing in your mouth and you would wait for them to walk off and you take it on your blue jeans and go like that and then they go like to 108 and you're like oh shit and you just you you'd shake it down to about 101 and they put it back in your mouth and they come in there and go yeah you gotta go that's genius <laughs> my little my dumb ass growing up my mom uh before like there was days i just I was up all night. I didn't want to go to school the next day. I would get the thermometer. And well, she'll be like, Jared, take your temperature. Like, I'm like, no, I don't feel good. I'll go inside and I'll go in my restroom and I'll get the, I'll put it like under hot water real quick. It'll be like 102. And I'll put it Perfect. right on my mouth. I'm like, I'm not Perfect. Go. Give it a, she yeah. said, damn, are you, you're that bad? <laughs> I'm like, oh, my how God, much? Good. How many things does your mom find out on this podcast? Yeah, she she knows. Sorry. Uh, my, my childhood was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so She's so she a- would look at, bro, but like, I don't know how I would think of that. Like, I'm like, wait, it gets, if you put it in warmer temperature, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, I mean, be yeah, that's pretty. I put, it, I put it in the water real quick, boom, 102, stay home. So do you remember yeah. the first time you've ever gotten a heartburn? Shit, a couple days ago. I remember. The- <laughs> so I, I need remember, tongues now. I remember I got out of football practice because I thought I thought I was having a heart attack, and it turned out to be heartburn. <laughs> Shit, you freaking I out? had this spicy food. I was a freshman in high school. I was like, Coach, my chest, my heart's, oh. I can, I'm, it's coming out of my chest, Coach. I was like, when I breathe, I can feel it right here. <laughs> and I was like, dude, it's like 
I know my heart's up here, but my head's hurting right here. I can't, I can't practice. I can't practice. To this day, I can't believe I sat out because I get heartburns every now and then, and I can't believe I sat out of football practice with a heartburn. I had to take a knee, then watch the whole practice, and just like, <laughs> did you take <laughs> any tums? No, they give me any because they thought they thought I was having heart problems, and so they're just like. All right, well, let, let's let's check you out. They took my pulse and everything. I was like, oh, his pulse is fine. Just like, oh, let's let him just chill out. And I was like, dude, the coaches probably thought I was a wuss. Hey, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, a, just a reminder, your mother's in the live audience, so be careful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, God damn it, Kyle. Well, I thought it, it, was, it turned out to be heartburn, so we're all fine here. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah, heartburn's a real thing. It's I've never had heartburn. Luckily. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, stop. Oh. Don't drink because I'm sorry. Knock on, no, knock on wood for that. Yeah, no. I'm literally <laughs> looking. That, 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 that reached the floor. The other day, I'm like, where's my wallet? Where's my Tums? I need Tums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking heart, heart's just burning. Hey, when you drink alcohol, yeah, it burns. What so so we went to the store what was with, with my daughter a week or so ago and took, took a picture of what we were buying. She took a picture of what we were buying. We bought ice cream. Not not just ice cream, multiple light types of ice cream. Yeah, there's two or three different kinds. The of Snicker it. ice creams. Oh <laughs> like my god, that's, mm. such, a, a that's pint, such a good choice. A pint of ice cream. A, a half gallon of vitamin D whole milk. There you go. A loaf of white bread. Um, I can't remember what else we bought, but then a thing of Tums. <laughs> like like all that, yeah. got it yeah. always Tums. scrapped yeah. proactive always scrapped that looks like my pantry right now <laughs> ice cream white bread milk tums. i can make a sandwich eat some dessert jared just stocked up on like 24 packs of yoohoo chocolate <laughs> milk oh the other was Yahoo. a jar of pecani sauce and yeah, the- no, that that burn my ass i, sh- I can't be <laughs> Hey, can y'all do spicy foods? Are y'all like, can y'all handle that? I Good. love spicy. To a certain extent. I like spicy foods. Don't get me wrong, but to man, a certain extent. No, you don't. Assholes. Huh? No, you don't. What? What when was the like last you time you ate something spicy? I watched you eat a jalapeno chicken, one time and you almost died. Sandwich from uh, a spicy chicken sandwich from, from Chick-fil-A? Uh, Chick-fil-A? Hell yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not, not spicy. No, spicy. Key, Arthur, I just saw, um, I saw, I was watching a movie and a guy did the same exact thing I did. I'm like, bro, that happened With the jalapeno? Me. Jalapeno. He put it, the girl was like, you won't do it. He's like, fuck it, I'll do it. He put the jalapeno in his mouth. Would you do it for like a for content, like a ghost? We pepper? can do it again, bro. So me, me and Arthur yeah. eating at a Mexican restaurant one yeah, time. I'll film that one. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get the we camera. We were eating at a Mexican restaurant, and I, I'm not really good with like spicy shit. Like I'm not. My my stomach hurts. Like I get a left jab. It's just not cool. So <laughs> Arthur was like, "You won't like fucking eat that jalapeno." He, and there was like it was like what kind of not big right it was like middle pretty small yeah pretty small <laughs> but it was like cooked so I think that makes it worse so he was like you want to do it I did it bro give me like thirty five seconds I was in sweat I was just he was red I was just oh my god oh my god freaking what out he got oh like my, three refills if oh you my, ever want to hydrate just eat a jalapeno dude yeah. straight up and Arthur was like and then I think Arthur had a bite of it and he was like bro they're usually not this strong <laughs> <laughs> supposedly the one I ate was pretty like hot Arthur was like they're not usually that hot and that's why I did it bro terrible I will never do it again so uh, I went to I've done like some hot hot stuff like like six digit Scoville type of stuff like wings and shit no like straight up just a little drop on a wheat thin and just so I went to at Fredericksburg I've they have this too. they have this sauce place oh, hell where it's no. like jellies over here you got sauces you got cream cheeses all different types and in the very far back this is a glass case with all these hot sauces you gotta sign a waiver yep. before you taste one of them and so I signed the waiver and I got this one uh, 600 skull 600,000 Scoville so to put that in perspective for you a jal- jalapeno is 3,000 you're six hundred thousand. Yes, and I put it on the a wheat thin fuck? cracker, and, and you I, just and like I, take a, I did a scoop. Two, I did what two, is this? No, it's a little hot sauce. Like you put, like you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I'm saying, how do you how do you, how do you how do you how do you even take I it? I put it on a wheat thin. Put it in your mouth, Jerry. And then yeah. yeah. Well, no shit, Sherlock. But I'm saying like <laughs> how, you fucking like you just pour pour it on and you just. No, I got the hot sauce and I dipped it. Six hundred thousand. That should two, be illegal. Two, two little drips and I threw it in there. I'm like, tastes like metal. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was my tongue I instantly bleeding. I give y'all props, and so man. I started. It, it hurt my mouth so bad that I ran to the bathroom and it said "screw screw germs" and just went mouth under the sink. And it was it made it worse. And then I was like, I need I guess handfuls of wheat thins. Just eating them, eating them. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm literally drenched. It looked like I was running a marathon. Was Emmy there? 
No. It was just, this was before, uh, this is like a couple months before. Did anybody see everything. this happen? Like, did Yeah, so my, I was with my, my friend Mason. Oh, he, okay. he came down and we went to Fredericksburg. And I was handfuls of wheat thins just in, and I not do anything. They get me a water bottle. Nothing's doing. I was like, the cream cheese. In the front of the in the front of the store, I there went we and I ate. Just loaded I, up with cream cheese. This little serving spoons that they you can put on your little wheat thin. I said, "Screw it!" I just was eating the cream cheese in the middle of a store and just, just shoveling it in just my scooping, mouth. Like, he's just scooping that shit. And I was like, uh, and then, so it finally calmed down. And then, like, I kid you not, like two seconds later, we walked out, and I guess my stomach is like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, oh no making a quick exit the hot sauce is making a mad dash to the end and so that was like the worst time i've ever had it and then to fast forward to the hot you know the hot wings hot yeah. ones hot stuff. ones yeah they have a board game with the cards and you have to do it's like truth or dab you have to either take a dab of hot sauce or tell the truth we got it and this was one million scoville mm. and so uh, my dad and my sister, and, and so Emerald and my mom were there, but my dad and my sister and I uh, took, they have a little serving spoon and we took it. <laughs> and so before How that, was that, bad. so the day before I actually had a hot sauce from my grandpa that he just, he's one of those guys when he cooks, no measurements, all eyeballs. He's done it before. So he's like, made a good hot sauce for you. It's got a little pineapple in it, a little sweet. That thing burnt me solid and he was like that's eh, not that hot and so my mouth was already i felt like was already just recovering so all the taste buds and you know nerve endings were just done so we did that i did the million scoville it was hot but it wasn't that bad and so that's why i think my tongue was just dead already my dad and my sister my dad drinking from the actual jug of milk and just <laughs> <laughs> and, he gets, and he's like sweating and Taylor's doing like a happy dance it's like oh my god and it wouldn't stop <laughs> yeah it one just, million Scoville yeah, yeah. don't Did ever do like a hot wing challenge or not I've yeah. always wanted to because I love that show I feel like you yeah. probably have like what it takes to do that because if you've done that I'm sure you could do all like a hot wing challenge it's just it gets to the point where it gets so hot that it tastes terrible yeah. Like yeah, you can't make something like, that why hot put this in my mouth yeah. right now. It, like what's why I did like uh, when I took the hot sauce. It was like this tastes like I'm like metal. Like I just drank <laughs> liquid so metal. Different. Yeah. So and nobody yeah. uses those as hot sauces. They're no, no, their only purpose cycle. is to just be as hot <laughs> yes. as possible. Right. It's a pissing contest. Yeah. You know. I tried one one called time like one one time called insanity sauce. Yeah, it's anything that with the name yeah, insanity, insanity in it like, insanity shouldn't bad. be ingested. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's something that I mean, I don't know. You got to do at least once, just to, you know, or just don't do it at all. But yeah, it's definitely like I I probably I could do the hot wings contest, but gotta have tums on deck. Yeah, you know, milk. For sure. I wonder how many of them regret it after doing it. Oh, there's one that I saw that a dude did it backwards. He accidentally started from the hottest one first, and then he just he wanted to like on the actual show. Yes, oh, wow. and they showed him running to the bathroom, and you just hear him in the bathroom, just like just getting destroyed. <laughs> and it yeah, was, you should probably work up to it. If yeah, you could. and it's like, dude, you went backwards, and he he did the rest of the interview without touching a wing. <laughs> he went to the hottest one first. They still did that show. They yeah, had they yeah. got they even got like a show, like a game show, on like like. Fox or something. Yeah, I remember seeing that one. Like they're huge and they get A list celebrities. We need to do that. that see, that can be a podcast. Yeah, since hot be, wing challenge. That's since, good content. Since Jared's right taking a bathroom break, we should just make Jared just do it. We should. Yeah. Wait, you have the hot sauce here? Uh, we you can, you, dude, half, half of the hot sauce they have on that show, you can get at HEB. They sell the whole package too. Might as well just Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can get the game too. You can get the game at Target. I've guess, always wanted to try it. Dude, it's it's bad. But we yeah. Should, yeah, we should make Jared do it. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming back. But so the time I tried the insanity sauce, it finally went away. I remember I rubbed my eye by accident a oh, little bit because I was bad. just playing like video games or whatever. Yeah. And my eye, all my eyes just completely red, <laughs> yeah. burning. You can't touch anything. Nobody like, gives you a warning. It it and it's it's hard to wash off. Thank you. And. Uh, <laughs> Like you, like when you take it and if it gets on your hands, you can't touch anybody else. It's like yeah, 
You get them spicy germs on other Spreads people. Spreads like a virus. Like the smallest thing can mess you up. Right, Jared? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're conspiring to get you to eat this million Scoville hot sauce, and, oh, he, I'll shit and he's bringing his beers. Jared, what you I'll be shitting my shit. I'll, I'll... Jared, what you doing for the content, though? Yeah, for the gram. Absolutely. For the yes. TikTok. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting views. That's all you got to say for the content. It's fine. What if it like blows up like two million views, three million views, and like comments are like, "Do it again. We want Jared do to do it again. again. Just like doing all kinds Let's of challenges. take it to the next level. Do it Bro. again. We want more." And they're like. Would you would you turn, would you do it again? I mean, like people, if like I millions to, of people would, are like would asking you to. Do it no, I'm just thinking like Arthur, like that time, bro. It was a little jalapeno, like this yeah. big, and I fucking almost shit myself. Like it just, I feel, I feel <laughs> like you were. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like it was re- not gonna be fun. Hey, like you'll react. Like that's my bingo priceless. card right there. <laughs> you ever get like left jabs? No, you need to get some help. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I can't handle <laughs> spicy shit. <Yeah. laughs> Cause uh, you had spicy as a yeah, that's chicken sandwich from fucking no, chick fil Number two spicy deluxe. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. Blame it. Nah, I give y'all pro. Uh, fucking, I give y'all some fucking uh, props. 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 There we go. Yes. Kyle and I are always, <laughs> Kyle and I are always jinxing, correcting Jay. Yeah. <laughs> I love y'all. We're generous. Pretty drunk. Yo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you came in. You came in way on a different level than yeah, any of I've us. been drinking for about what are y'all drinking? Eight hours. Though? What are those? Huh? So, what are you drinking? Beer. Oh, okay. This is Love Street. Already checked out, right? Hmm? Would you drink one? Not now, but like... I, I feel like you would like this. It's, it's pretty actually... It's not bad. It's pretty mellow. Yeah. I love... Yeah. It. It's a card box. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Not a sponsor. Cool, brother. Not, what do you want to talk about next, bro? <laughs> yeah. uh, we're at we're an hour. Out. We're about an hour, right. so we can... Keep going. You have a, a little bit. Like at least just, you know... I can see what I One have. little brain teaser to end it. Everything's old. <laughs> brain teaser. <laughs> I love these, like, where we have no topics. We just, like, go with the flow. Oh, these are fluid. the best ones. This fluid. I'm enjoying this one for sure. How did we go from music to hot wings? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It just kind of happens. Arthur yeah. would be having some fucking random shit from TikTok. What? I don't have shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> what are you just what is that word talking in? <laughs> it's his words? He comes back. I don't got <laughs> shit. Yeah. Nothing worth mentioning. Yeah. Oh my god! My most exciting question on there was, "What do you miss most about your childhood?" All right, <laughs> uh, hey, hold having, on. Who says not, that's a that's a bad one? It's, it's, not having responsibilities on. and like one of those just like <laughs> I was like already waking up, waking up. You know, there's not a lot of stress. Just the worst thing that's on your mind is dishes. You know, I can. Tell you know what made me write this question dishes. down? Yeah. I was on TikTok, and do you know how people make those like nostalgic ones where they're showing like, uh, it's like. Christmas when you were in elementary school, oh, yes. and it just shows pictures of like yeah. yes. what it was like. The Valentine's Day where you had to get a shoebox and cut it, and you put Valentine's in everyone's shoebox. Yeah, and yes. like you're, the girl you liked in the class, and like gave you like a heart, right? But oh, she uh, gave it to everyone. In class. <laughs> you're looking over at the next guy, you're like excited. Hey. You're like, oh, you got one too, Jimmy? Oh, <laughs> and then, and then what, you get like uh, oh, yearbook signings in the oh that the girl you like in the class goes hags and you're just like oh right yeah. this can be a she great she actually summer. wrote like a somewhat like a semi uh, she more she wrote two sentences and she left her number in it <sighs> I'm calling you on my house phone <laughs> <laughs> damn right dude so no but about- I'll say Christmas though that's the one thing I miss yeah. like Christmas when I believed in mm-hmm. Santa just hit differently for sure oh I mean if Facts. I mean because he, but he's real. Yeah, what do you mean? Ford, he's believed in Sam. He's, he's still real, bitch. Or else. That's, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's right. That's no way to we talk don't know here. Enough. There, could, there could be people listening to this so in their the car. Kids. Nah, nah. On, on, the, on the speakers of the car with the kids in the back seat. If you're, listening, you just to, if you're listening to this podcast with your kids, probably not the best decision. Yeah, those kids don't believe in anything. <laughs> you should probably turn it off. <laughs> now that we have, we have those parents, kids, I heard some horror stories. So, how did y'all do the whole Christmas thing? You wanted him to believe Santa until when? How, how did that work out? That was tricky because you just kind of had to let yeah. it happen, right? Uh-huh. And uh, I don't even know. I can't even remember when it happened. Probably so seven, how, how seven years you old. Into, like you believe in Santa? So I, I got, I caught wind of the whole, <laughs> of, of the whole scam, <laughs> the uh, scam. very <laughs> early. <laughs> But as long as Taylor was younger than me, so I you don't want to root it for Taylor. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. I played along. I played along, and then they started catching. It's like, hey, Kyle's like eleven, like, <laughs> and he's still he's still rolling with this. And they 
thought I was conspiring and just be like, as long as I can still believe, then I'll st- I'll <laughs> and then like I'll still get presents because if I I was worried if I stop <laughs> believing, then I won't get presents. So I just kept I just kept going. And but like, wait, what made you? How did you know though? Like what happened? Oh, dude, we, no, go, to, we like, go to public school. I was thirteen, so there's I, some I, evil I, kids at school. I don't know. They oh, like, they told you everything. Santa's fake. You know, Santa's fake, dude. Like, uh oh, uh-uh. no, he's not. <laughs> He got he, the elves <laughs> made Madden for me. I'm you know, gonna let that, that, one, that one is a, okay. So yeah, video games. I was like, all right, elves making video games. How does this work? My mom went. Well, for the video games, they go and after when Target closes and gets the video games for all the kids because the elves aren't skilled enough to make video games, so they go at Target. And I was like, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. For so real. they're thieves. Yeah, they're borrowing. No, that shit was traumatizing when I found out it wasn't real. Yeah. Like, I waited pain, up. Pain. For like two or three years, I would actually wait up. I will always fall asleep. Next well, you, I wake young. up and I see cookies and fucking cookies ate, presents. I'm like, God damn, Santa came that quick. You're I, both the youngest, right? Yeah. There you go. Mm, I'm in the middle. So. You're the youngest, though, for sure. Yeah. There you go. All everyone was lying to me. So when I, when I found out, I was like, so not only were my parents lying, <laughs> All four of my sisters were lying. We yeah. talked about it one Everyone time. Everyone I care about was lying to me. Trust issues. <laughs> That's when my trust issues started. Yeah. <laughs> like Santa's not real. That was it for me. Uh, but if you think about it, like I didn't talk to them for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the issue you have too is once your kids figure it out, and then you have nieces and nephews running around, and you slip and go, "Man, remember when you guys used to believe in Santa?" <laughs> Yeah, and they're like, yeah. Oh, like, oh, I was just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> just a but joke. yeah, I think Kyle thought if he didn't believe in Santa, if he, if he knew he was onto it, then the presence. Well, would that's stop. why he he made sure that he got his presence though. Bro, he's yeah. like, yo, Santa to the day I die, bro. <laughs> Every Christmas, bro. I still believe in that motherfucker. I still do, man. <laughs> Fast forward, do. he's almost fighting him in in Miami. Yeah, <laughs> fighting Santa. He <laughs> said, he <laughs> said, y'all was an Uber driver was a Santa. Huh? This poor guy, man. Kyle, Kyle's not a violent type, and he wanted to beat this guy's ass. That's why I knew something and was I, up. And I was ready. We talked earlier about. When I tap out, I'm I'm out, right? And I was in the <laughs> guy's car, and Kyle car. goes, get out of the car. And I go, he can take me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we can't all fit in the van, but I'll go with him. Yeah. That's some shit and I would goes, say. Get your ass out of the car. And I'm like, all right. And I, I think I even said, see you, Santa Claus. <laughs> like, that guy was a jackass. He said he could take me. Yeah. I was, That's Santa. I was comfortable. I mean, I was set to go. Oh, That's my. Santa after all the kids lost faith in him. Man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Driving Uber, Uber, in the Miami Christmas for retirement. Anymore. Comes an Uber driver. <laughs> he lost his sleigh. He gets in a van. I bet you so many people like talk about him being Santa. Oh, just because sure. his fucking beard sure. and all he that. Looked exactly I hope he like shaved Santa. the next like, night. Like it, it was pretty long. Oh yeah, dude. Like, it was it was Santa. Yeah. It was my, yeah. You uh, could probably find his Uber picture on, bro, the, uh, on the app. No. Yeah, I don't know. I reported it. <laughs> so I reported <laughs> Santa Claus ripped us off. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, like that was. Uh, multiple, multiple, multiple people in that car have saw me mad for the first time in their lives, and they were actually scared. And I was like, "Cause I'm just a guy like, hey, is peace, love, and happiness, man." Yeah. But like, he also was saying like he wanted one of y'all's dudes. He could he couldn't be in the car because there was too many of y'all. Well, yeah, there was right. bucket seats, so the second row didn't have a seat uh, okay. in the middle, and that was Shit. the whole reason. And I watched him press start. And then drive a little centimeter and then turn around and say, I'm like, oh, no, you're not fucking me right now. Bro. <laughs> and I was like, I got so, and it, and it was already after a long day of drinking. It's just, you caught me at a bad time, Santa. And I'm about to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the side of the road just beating the fuck out of Santa. Yeah. <laughs> and he's yelling at me, get out of the car. And I go, yeah, buddy, I want to get home. out. I'm like, can yeah, you just chill in the shotgun? Yeah, I'm like, I want to go. Home. go home. I'm like, <laughs> get your ass out of the car. All right. <laughs> I'm dead, man. Well, shit, I've had a, had a good time with y'all. It was fun. Yeah, this is a good This one. was a good time. One of my favorites for sure. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Glad, okay. glad we made that plan last night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you glad we made it when we're both drunk. Because <laughs> yeah. I woke up today, I'm like, why did I tell Mr. McKinney? I said, oh, we're doing a podcast tomorrow? Oh, shit. I'm already drunk. <laughs> 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 no, but once again, thank you so much for coming, sir. Enjoyed it. We had a good time with you. Until Guys, next time. Yeah. Sir, we'll bring you back home soon. All right. You want to be a host? Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. It's been real. Been fun. It's been real. Fun. Thoughts? Players. We out. Peace. Woo! <laughs> yeah! yeah!